What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict. Bring you my top picks for Friday's main DK MLB slate, guys. All right, guys. So it's good Friday, man. We got some good some good uh, baseball on too, guys. All right. So um, first of all, guys, uh, on the screen you're gonna see the draft dashboard up, guys. So this is what I'm probably gonna be using for my MLB research, guys. Because uh, man, there's a lot of information to break down <clears throat> when it comes to MLB slates and to be honest, man, this puts it all in one space for me. It makes it a little bit easier for you to read, man. So you look on the screen, guys, you got you got your pictures. I've got to sort it by the position optimizer. I click on the position optimizer, and it brings up automatically the, the, the picture position. All right? And so from there, you know, I just kind of go through, and I look at the, the picture stats, you know, right here. This is uh, Dallas Keiko. All right, guys? So he has a plus 13% advantage, all right, because he's a lefty. And um, the team he's facing, the Texas Rangers, has five lefties in their lineup, all right, and the other four righties. So he only has one, I mean, four players that are platoon spit. So, you know, he has a plus 13% uh, advantage over uh, the team that he's playing, all right, and he has, he averages around 19 fantasy points per game. His his is scoring log for the last few games. He uh, averages around 6.3 innings pitch, but you want your pitchers to go go long. They go another green box, and then the ERA, how many runs does he uh, allow? All right, that's green as well, somewhere around 2.9. Okay, guys, so um, I like Dallas Keuchel uh, versus Texas. All right, guys, in the game that they're favored to win. Okay, if you look at the, uh, the Las Vegas totals, totals uh, they projected uh, the uh, <clears throat> Astros will win this game. So I like Dallas Keuchel, guys. But uh, for my value play, guys, for pitcher, I'm going to go with this guy right here, Chasen. All righty. So if you look at his game logs, guys, 19, 27, 8, 29, 12. He's all over the place, guys. But he's playing in San Diego in a pitcher-friendly park. All right, guys. So um, I like that. All right. So that's an advantage for him, guys. So I like chasing. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to DraftKings, make it a little easier for us to see the plays, guys. But I pretty much use Draft Dashboard to select all these plays, except for this guy right here, the catcher. So um, the, the catcher for... Uh, the the Braves uh, got injured or something happened to his hip or something like that or whatever, and so if he's ruled out tomorrow, I expect this guy to start and at minimum salary at three k. And you can see this guy can put up points. All right, Kurt Suzuki, man, he can knock the ball out, guys. Nineteen home runs last year. All right, but I like Kurt Suzuki if he gets the start. So just watch out for the actual finalized lineups and see if he he starts off. All right, Marvin Gonzalez, I like him. If I switch back over here to draft dashboard, all right. He's in my outfield, I believe. Oh, he's in my third baseman, all right? So I go over to third base. And you see right here, Marvin Gonzalez, man. He has a plus 35% advantage right here, guys. All right, he's a switch hitter. And look at that. Doug Fister gives up a .903 on base plus slugging uh, percentage, right, versus switch hitters, guys. And look at that. Marvin Gonzalez hits better versus righties. And guess what Doug Fister is? A righty. All right, guys. So... That's why I locked in Marvin Gonzalez. Guys, you look at his game log. You know, he hasn't been doing too well. All right. But I like him in this matchup. High scoring game. And uh, this is a chance to get right. I believe, believe he's, it says he's projected to bat six, but I want to say I saw that he's batting fifth. All right, guys. But the final lines, lines are not out yet. But this guy should be a little higher up the order because, again, he gets the platoon speed because he's a switch hitter and he's stronger versus right handed uh, pitchers. All right, guys. All right. But I like Marvin Gonzalez. For the cheap, 3.8K. All right. All right, guys. So at my uh, outfielder, guys, got to go with this guy, man. J.D. Martinez, guys. He's in Boston now. But if you go back to draft dashboard, we go to our outfielder. All right. There we go. All right. So look at J.D. Martinez, guys. A plus 63% advantage, guys. Plus 63 I think that's the highest on the slate, guys. You look down here, that's the highest on the slate. We got Upton right here with 57%, but JD by far has the highest one. So I like his chances to knock him out the park, guys. All right. If you look at JD Martinez. He has some upsides. Upside, guys. All right. But he got all green boxes here, guys. All righty. 4.6K. Not too bad. He's batting fourth in the order. All right. You got a little flame right here. All right. Because he had a game where he, had, he put up 20. All right. He has a high of 60. This guy can. Can go ridiculous, guys, if he gets if he gets that that bat swinging, guys. But I like him. So if you look at his splits, all right, 
J.D. Martinez is 1.33 on base plus slugging versus lefty guys. All right, that's ridiculous, all right? <laughs> that means pretty much guaranteed to get on base, guys, or maybe even knock it out the, out the park, guys. So I like J.D. Martinez, man. Lock him in, guys. Enough said. All right, short stop, short stop, Mr. Cozart. All right, let me go ahead and show you guys this. All right. So Cozart, you see him right here at the top, guys. He has a plus 41% advantage, guys. Again, versus lefty, Cozart is a 1.03. All right, guys, 1.03. And the pitcher, Sean Manai, is giving up 0 .02, 0 .802 versus righties, guys. So this is a good matchup for Cozart, guys. All right, if you look at his game log, he has some upside as well. He, he can knock it out the park as well. See the 16 and 13 on the screen. We got all greens, you know. 3.6 at bats, but he's batting a uh, six in order according to his projected. But uh, you know, depending on how many chances he gets to hit at it. But as you can see, he hits well versus the left-handed pitchers, guys. All right. So I like his chances of getting on base or still in the, still in the base as well, guys. All right. So I like Zach Cozart. All right. Let's go ahead and go. All right. All right. So I guess they hadn't played against each other. All right. Cool, cool. And last but not least. The judge. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this guy here is a reverse splits guy, which means he's a right-hander that hits better versus right-handers. Okay, guys? So I'm going to go back over the draft dashboard, go back to outfield. All right? Now, I know everybody's going to be all excited because John Carlos Stanton, whatever his name is, you know, knocked out a couple of this uh, at the park today. But guess what? His judge is turned, guys. All right? So if you look at this, this right here, he's plus... 48%, guys, versus righty. As you can see right there at the top, guys, versus righty, he's better versus the righty. So 1.079 versus righty. And if you look at Aaron Sanchez, he's giving up versus the righty. Yes, Stanton is a, a righty as well, but I like Judge because everybody's going to chase Stanton. But I like Judge's chances of, of knocking it out today. All right, so lock in Judge, guys. All right, if you look at his game log, yeah, I do had not scored on a 10 in like four or five games, guys. All right, so I like him. You see he had 36 fantasy points in that one game. So um, I like Judge. All right. so lock in Judge. So that's my top plays for the day, guys. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, at least you're about 5,700 per position. And uh, like I said, that pitcher, guys, you know, I'll let you guys pick who you like up top, guys. All right. Um, I like I like Keiko. Um, I like Hendricks. He's supposed to get the W. All right, because this team is heavily favored to win. And you see he has a little bit of upside, 28, 26, 25. All right, but he can get you a nine like this, like he did at Washington, guys. All right. We're playing in Miami. All right. Miami is a, is a batter friendly. I mean, a hitter, not a hitter, pitcher friendly park. All right, guys. Pitcher friendly park, guys. But Miami only strikes out like 19% of the time. All right. All right. But I like uh, I like uh, Hendrick, so. All right. But my favorite pitcher to pay up for, to be honest, guys, is Keiko, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you, man. He just seems safe, all right? All right, but if you like in Keiko, that leaves you 3700 For the last few positions, you should be able to find you some value uh, in those positions. Or if you don't want to pay off for Keiko, um, another guy, Tanaka, man, you know, he has the ability to, to put up a, a bunch of points. You see right here versus Toronto, this was, this was in New York because that was a home game for him. Look at it. Put up 48 DraftKings points versus this team, guys. All right? But they're in the hitter-friendly ballpark. All right, in Toronto. So I don't know if I would mess with that personally. All right. Uh, another player that I like at pitcher, David eh, David Price has the ability to do great, guys. But as you can see in his game log at the end of last year, man, it, it just it just wasn't happening, guys. All right, but see, right here, he showed a flash of greatness right here versus New York. 34 DraftKings points, guys. If you believe him, if you believe he got his heat back, guys, you can go with with with, uh, with Price. But Alex Wood will probably be the next safest uh, player on the board, guys. All right. Should be able to get you 20-plus DraftKings points versus San Francisco. All right. And Dodger Stadium, which is pretty much like a neutral park, in my opinion. But um, I like his ability, too, man. But Kygo just seems safe to me, guys. So, all right. Well, good luck tomorrow, guys. All right. MLB. Tough game, lots of variance, guys. As you see from yesterday, guys, um, some of the picks did well. Uh, Springer put up 16, all right? 
Mustakas put up 14. All righty. Uh, F. Arrow didn't play. All right. Rosario put up 12. Trout put up a big old stinker. All right, guys, but that's how it is sometimes, guys. Sometimes these guys just, just can't, can't perform. It is what it is. But uh, good luck, guys. Follow me on Twitter. If I have any updates that come out, I will send out on Twitter, guys. But all righty. So good luck tomorrow.